National Center for Missing and Exploited Children reports an annual average of 9 to 10 documented infant abductions. 95% of those abducted infants were located and safely returned to their parents. And Sharon Rossi, the director of the Women's and Children's Services at Sinai Hospital here in Baltimore, joins us with more to make sure you are protected. Talk a little bit about what's happened with Carolina White, but more importantly, let people know that from the moment that child enters the earth or enters the world, the protective instinct really has to step up a notch, doesn't it? It sure does, Charlie. And, and thanks so much for having me sure. on this morning to talk about this. And basically, um, the protection begins in the hospital. Now, we've done a lot of work in hospitals since the 23-year unfortunate kidnapping that happened to Miss White. And we have so many layers of protection in the hospital. Uh, what's happened as a result of this is that people, the abductors, are going out into the community seeking to abduct from homes and seeking to abduct from shopping centers. So that's really what I'd like to talk with you a little sure, bit about course. today. Regarding this, though, because like you're saying, they're now going out into the private sector, not so much just the hospitals, sure. but the protective instinct there at the hospitals, what parents a need to know. Absolutely. It begins in the hospital. And when, when you're there as a patient, um, all hospital employees have special training. We wear hospital photo ID. It's really important to never give your baby to anyone that doesn't have the approved ID. If you don't recognize the person, please feel free to put your call light on and ask for verification of that ID. That is your single best bet in terms of what you can do. Picture ID on hospital staff, a must. Also, talking about the bassinets being next to the bed, keeping yes. the child near you. Yes, absolutely. We, we urge parents to have the bassinet actually on the opposite side from the door. Just puts another physical barrier between you and the hallway. Um, and then also, if you want to take a shower or go for a walk, either take the baby with you um, in the bassinet or make sure you, re you ask the nurse to take the baby back to the nursery. Um, this is also important when you're showering. If you're even in the bathroom for a minute, it only takes a few seconds. Um, abduction is a crime of opportunity. So it's really important for parents to be aware of their surroundings and to work with hospital personnel to keep your baby safe. Now, in the providing of, of, of personal information, things like home addresses, you say yes. be careful. Absolutely be careful. Um, when you go home, a lot of people, it's the instinct, I want to tell you, everyone about the baby. Um, we tell people, avoid having storks on your lawn, balloons, um, and please be careful of social uh, media. That is really important. You have to be able to trust that the people who are getting the information, whether it's your location or specific pictures, birth date information, really be sure. Can you trust everyone on that website that will see that information? And I'm pretty, I, I just am not certain that you can. So I urge our parents be careful about that. Now, of course, you can, you can consult hospital staff about these concerns. Absolutely. And they'll put you at ease and let you know exactly these five things and any other questions you might have. Abso absolutely. Um, we are here to, to, to be your partner, to keep you safe. And, uh, and that um, responsibility goes beyond our hospital um, doors. We, we are very committed to keeping you safe in the hospital and once you go home. We want this to be a, an event that you remember for your entire life. All right, Sharon Rossi, thank you so much for the time this morning. Morning. Thank you, Charlie.